Hello everyone, my name is Tiger from Uniblue Media at YouTube and today I'm going to do a highly requested tutorial for you guys it's how to render out a video for YouTube and most other video hosting uh, websites on the internet So, okay, uh, I'm going to use Premiere Pro for this one uh, to show you how to render it out. Uh, basically, if you are using Sony Vegas, or Vegas, I mean, or After Effects, or Camtasia, Final Cut Pro, any of these programs, Nuke maybe, I don't know, uh, this will probably work as well, uh, just to watch this because just try to pay attention to which options I'm use I'm changing uh, because you will have the same options in your programs as well. They are pretty global, um, so yeah, this you could watch this tutorial even if you are using uh, Sony Vegas or any any of the other programs. This isn't really specific for Premiere Pro. So yeah, I have two clips here, one from Modern Warfare uh, the COD series and one from Skyrim and these two clips will be at the end of this video, they are approxim approximately 30 seconds long so uh, if you want to see how the quality looks like because this video is rendered out in this uh, up this render settings I'm going to use right now. Uh, so if you want to see how it looks like, just watch at the end of this video. And so yeah, we will just start then. Uh, when you are finally done with your editing and you want to render out and you have selected what you want to render, you go to File, Export Media if you are using uh, Premiere Pro. It could also be Save As or Render Out or Render to Qui. Uh, yeah. So what you will do first is to choose the format H264. This is the format YouTube compresses to and most other video hosting sites. And the key here or the rule here is to choose the, the render settings that matches uh, as much as possible for the video hosting site you are going to upload to and YouTube compresses to this, so we are going to choose this one. The format is uh, how the video is encoded. Uh, I can't really explain it uh, much else like that. Okay, so the preset you're going to choose is not really that important, but to make uh, the, it's easier to select stuff down here, uh, choose the one that matches your recording, and if you're recorded in half HD, the 720p HD uh, choose this one and make sure you choose one with 29.97 frames per second isn't really important because we're going to change that later if you're recording in full HD choose this one okay so go first to filters if you have that option and make sure no filters are selected this filter Gaussian blur makes adds blur to the video and you don't want that it just makes it unsharp so don't have that checked multiplexer make sure multiplexing is mp4 and make stream compat compatibility oh that's a hard word to standard so yeah go to video settings and you want to make sure ntsc the tv standard ntsc is checked it's not really important because this is for web so this really wouldn't really matter that much I think it will just don't matter at all uh, the TV standard the NTC and the poll is for if you're going to render out for television because uh, some regions have NTC SC and it's different from poll there's some color difference and frame rate difference so uh, yeah I won't really go in more into that 
just to make a just a short note if you live in America you're using the NTSC or you watch that on television anyway uh, frame width and frame height uh, make sure if you're uploading the full HD resolution make sure it's 1920 in width and 1080 in height and if you're uh, uploading in health and the 720 you want to make sure it's 1280 720 just update it automatically because of this little uh, lock but I am have recorded in full HD resolution and I want to bring you guys the best quality I can give you so 1920 it is uh, make sure the frame rate or the FPS is set to 30 FPS I have checked around and people have most people say it's 30 FPS I thought it were 29.97 but I think YouTube go as high as 30 I know v Vimeo or Vimeo uh, go to 30 FPS so just choose that um, you can't go higher if you have recorded in 60 FPS and you want to upload 60 FPS I'm sorry but that will be compressed down to 30 again so your clip won't be any smoother if you record or you upload in 60 FPS so now you know that uh, field order it's progressive if you can change it uh, pixel aspect radio uh, make sure it's on widescreen 16 9 um, yeah that's the correct one and profile make sure it's on main level on 4.2 uh, I think it wouldn't really matter if you go higher uh, it will still probably be the same don't go lower uh, keep it close to that number if you can Render at maximum depth if you have a such option like this, check it, it's probably going to make the video better. Uh, so the bitrate settings, that's um, probably most one of the most visible options. Uh, this, the bitrate for image uh, re really is the option that changes the image quality and YouTube if you're uploading in full HD resolution the target bitrate will be 8 and the maximum will be 10 and this really choose how much information there will be uh, each second or each uh, in total in the video this is like a megabyte per second I think uh, I think it has something to do how many colors you can you Get. so yeah make sure it's 8 by 10 or target is 8 and maximum bitrate is 10 if you're uploading in half HD resolution 720 you will change it to 4 target to 4 and maximum to 5 and the reason is, is because there's less pixels and I I guess I think YouTube compresses it differently when it's half the HD resolution. Anyway, I have recorded in full HD resolution, so I will choose the highest one available. Uh, this also makes the file size smaller, uh, so for you that have always used a bigger bitrate, the file size will be bigger. If I change this to 40, 40, you will see that this is 146 megabyte big. If I change it back, to the, the correct one it will be down on 29 so it really makes it easier for you to upload and it will take shorter to upload and so forth okay so that's the video part uh, that will cover most of the options or all of the options you will you should really care about right now uh, let's go to audio settings and make sure the codec for audio is AAC uh, that's the one YouTube converts to and also Vimeo converts to Output channel make sure it's stereo so you get two channels with audio uh, YouTube doesn't support uh, uh, Dolby Digital Digital uh, I can't really say it or this one so and mo mono uh, will be one audio channel so make sure it's stereo Frequency and make sure it's 44.1 uh, 
hertz or how you say that and audio quality make sure it's high if you have that option available bitrate settings make sure it's the highest one 320 because uh, Vimeo supports 320 and I think YouTube may do it but if it's it does not support it it will just compress it down to the 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 wanted bitrate uh, the standard one for YouTube just make sure the precedence is on bitrate and not frequency so then you have all the other settings set so and don't worry about anything like this uh, FTP settings you, you don't need it it won't do anything for your video um, so this video is 30 seconds long the estimated file size is also 30 megabytes so it's pretty small if you're if you're recorded in 10 minutes so it's uh, uh, yeah 600 seconds so then if you're recorded in 10 minutes like a usual a standard gameplay video the file size will be 600 megabytes and then that's full HD so yeah. so and it will be 30 300 megabytes if you had uploaded in 720 so that's that guys and uh, just save it to the wanted destination and also if you can save the, t the settings you just did and uh, like for web the resolution and the, the frame rate and save all the filters if just to make sure and then you have it later I, will, I also have some templates here right now and then you can just export so and then it's exporting so thank you for watching guys I hope you uh, liked this tutorial I hope it helped you to render out a better quality better, uh, better render settings for your videos and yeah the, the previews these two clips from Modern Warfare and Skyrim will be after this at the end of this video so make sure to check it out so you can see how the quality looks uh, thank you for watching guys I can't really <laughs> have anything more to say oh by the way uh, make sure to check out my texture pack for Minecraft if you're a Minecraft fan it's called R3D or Red Craft R3D Craft or Red Craft and I got a lot of positive feedback and so maybe you'll like it it's a link there's links below also I have a fan page on Facebook so if you want to get some updates and messages and stuff like that make sure to like my page and I will thank you for watching guys uh, subscribe for more tutorials and check out my other videos I make cinematics and do special effects and all that uh, so yeah here's the, the two examples and it will pop up right now. Kill confirmed.